Hi, bug. Hi, bug. Hi, Hi bug. bug. This is my girlfriend, Alyssa. And this is my girlfriend, Lauren. And today, we are going to be talking to you about how to gain con confidence. confidence. But before we get into the video, are you subscribed? Have you liked this video before you even freaking watched all of it? Have you commented, wow, this video made me feel so confident. <laughs> Women are powerful. I, I like that you're <laughs> adding on to it. I things. always do. <laughs> and did you ding that bell to get post notifications? Ding, ding, ding. Because we post three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, and guess what? Check out our six. Yeah. I was waiting for you to I'll do. I'll never forget, but I will be delayed. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like a lot of people um, comment on our content and about confidence because I think we yeah. both exude a very like self-assured yes. kind of vibe. <laughs> and then like non like self, I don't know. It's not like ego. No. I feel like we're both like, but I think we both pretty are Pretty humble people. Yeah. But I think we, we know what we can do and we know what we've got and I think, oh, you know, a lot of that stems from our parents. Shout out. Yeah. I mean, my mother and your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the, the rents on that one. Because I think we both grew up. This is very lucky. I don't think everybody grows up this way, but I think we both grew up feeling that either of us could achieve anything we wanted to do. That's my parents always said that mm -hmm. they were always like, you could do anything you put your mind to mm -hmm. or my my stepmom would always say there's like this one specific phrase she would say when I would like doubt myself mm -hmm. or maybe my parents would want me to do something and I, I'd be like unsure about it. She'd always be like, have we ever asked you to do something we didn't believe you could do? Yeah. And like, I think that really applied to my life. So we're both mm -hmm. very lucky. Yes. But maybe if you didn't have that growing up, I think we're going to try and give you some, try and give you some tips to build it up quick. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't, there are plenty of confident people out there whose parents did not do that yes. for them. Yes. So it's not, you're not a lost cause. No, also, you're not. Sometimes people's parents did do that and it, and still, it still didn't stick. Well, I think my siblings view me as very confident and I think that both of them, like they are like confident individuals, but I think that like for some reason I really took the you can do anything like to heart. Um, I think in my house, and I think this can translate to your life as well, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yes. So it's like, yes, you might not achieve your goals immediately, but if you keep putting hard work into it, then you eventually will achieve your goals if you keep if you keep chipping away at it. I think the, yeah. not if, but when is yeah. like a huge mindset that both Alyssa and I have. I think whenever we talk about our future or any endeavors that we're doing or, whatever um it's not like oh i hope it happens it's like oh i can't wait for it to happen mm -hmm. when you think like when instead of if you have like the reassurance in yourself that even if you're not there right now you will eventually get there mm -hmm. having confidence is a lot about like having trust in yourself that even if you're like having a bad day you're like i feel like i look like dookie <laughs> and i i feel like i'm like not showing off my personality how I want to. Mm -hmm. um, those are always my worst days when I feel like I'm not treating people to like my standard of treating people. Yeah. That's when I'm like, Alyssa, you're being a bad girl. You're being bad, bad, but bad. I always say tomorrow will be better. Yeah. I think another thing that really helps me and that could help you as well is when something doesn't shake out. So say like in a situation where it's not an if but a when like say yeah. there's a one-time thing you really want to do and you're not gonna it's not gonna be like oh I can't wait when I'm gonna actually get it like say you like auditioned for a, a musical and you didn't get it so you can't be like I can't wait till I get cast the yeah. casting already happened yeah in a way that doesn't completely shift the blame away from you I like to note to myself that if something doesn't work out, there's probably a reason it did not work out yeah. that I cannot see. Like mm -hmm. the universe has a bigger plan. I'm not really like, I don't really believe in God, but I do love to be like the universe. So yes, I yes. mean, whatever you're like, you're big believers in fate because yeah. you, you, the truth is, is that you kind of got to believe in something. If yeah. you're not, if you're not going to be religious, we're not religious. Um, shout out to religions though. Do, do whatever you yeah, want. Seriously. Um, but you have to believe in something. And I think what I believe in more than anything is me. Yeah. <laughs> I am my own higher power. That would be an awesome 
awesome t-shirt. That would be, I am my own pyre power. All of this to say, um, <laughs> when something doesn't shake out, usually I try to step outside of it for a minute, even though I'm like upset or yeah. you're disappointed. And I'm like, there is a reason that this didn't work out. You don't know it yet, but a greater opportunity, a different opportunity, a different path is coming that you would not have accessed had you gotten that one goal. Mm -hmm. So I really try to it's not like a, well, it's not my fault I didn't get it, but rather it's a, I wasn't meant to get yeah, it and that's okay. To get it. Yeah. And I think that really helps because I think it can be so easy to like dog on yourself if you're blaming every failure on your own ability. Mm -hmm. So it kind of like helps alleviate some of that like self doubt. Yeah. And then after that, you can be like, okay, I didn't get this opportunity. What are the next steps that I can take to ready myself? for a similar opportunity in the future. Exactly. Sometimes like one like failure is really a prep for a different opportunity mm -hmm. in the future that you're like, oh, well, I know not to do what I did last time. Mm -hmm. I feel like most of the things that I've gotten in my life, I've gotten from not succeeding at them at first yeah. and being like, why didn't I succeed? Doing some like self analysis. And then also like, I feel like when you're trying new things, you're also like, you don't know like, the politics of the new thing. Like yeah. you don't know the rules. You don't know the tricks and tips to doing that new thing. Yeah. So I, I tend to become obsessed with that thing and being like, what are the exact steps that I can take to set myself up? And that's kind of fun too, because then it's like, you're like looking to the future. You take your disappointment and like turn it into like motivation almost yeah. to continue on. Yeah. Haters are your biggest motivators. Haters are your biggest motivators. I think when people are talking about confidence, when it comes to us at least, mm -hmm. like what, what we can best give to the people, um, <laughs> they're talking about like the way we dress and the way we carry ourselves because they don't necessarily even know everything we've been through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not like, you're so confident to audition for that thing. Yeah. It's like, you're so confident to be gay online and or wear like, a weird Or wear outfit. a blouse, yeah. <laughs> so I think we should talk more about like how we have gained confidence in like our appearance. Yeah. I have said this a million times, but I will continue to preach it from the rooftops because I think it is the biggest game changer for me and my confidence journey. Uh -huh. And it's that like faking it till you make it it sounds corny, but it works, and that's why people say it. Yeah. I think that the biggest improvement that I've ever had in my self-image started when I like started like looking in the mirror and very jokingly, this is the part, it's because you when you're saying this stuff, it sounds cringe out loud even to you, but you just gotta go through with it. I would jokingly be like, Oh, I look so hot. <laughs> like going out with my friends, I'd be like, Oh, I look so good tonight. Like whatever. And it, almost in like a third person, like, ha ha, that sounds so stupid. Mm -hmm. But there is something about the psychology of speaking aloud your thoughts that like your brain, like it just sinks in. So even though I was saying in a jokey way, like, ugh, I look so hot. My brain was like, I look so hot putting the data in. I feel so hot. Yeah. Like, like it sounds goofy, but then eventually like that, that jokiness that sarcasm goes away and then you really do are you're just left with what you've been saying out loud you are like mm -hmm. damn I am so hot yeah I think for me the biggest thing that's helped me feel good about my appearance is trying a lot of different things mm -hmm. I think especially when I was young like I was striving to discover my style and so I had a lot of different eras growing up I had a pixie cut I dressed like I was in the 50s for a long time like I and and people were like I was kind of lucky because I went to an arts high school so um and I grew up around a lot of people who were gay so I didn't have to grapple with that as much mm. um but I think also oh my god this is huge for me believe that the reason people are talking bad about you unless you're doing something bad but if people are sort of trash talking you for no reason believe it comes from a place of jealousy yeah I think that's huge. Also, it doesn't hurt anyone if you're like, oh, they don't like my outfit because they're jealous. Like, mm -hmm. that does not hurt anybody. That is not you, like, giving yourself a big head. That is just, like, oftentimes people do get jealous if you are being an individual and they are not comfortable being an individual themselves. And my mom was always the type of mom who was like, they are probably just jealous of you and that's why you didn't get invited to the sleepover. Like, yes, 
Yeah. That's not hurting anybody. I think, yes, believe they're jealous. Why not? <laughs> also, like, like, think about it objectively, right? So, like, say you're in school, at work, whatever, and you see somebody, like, dressed weird to you. You're like, I don't really like that. You would not ideally <laughs> most people wouldn't have such a strong visceral reaction to seeing something you don't jive with that they'd have to like say talk something. smack i typically what that is is genuinely even if they don't want to dress like that they're yeah. jealous of the fact that they cannot express themselves as freely as this other person yeah like no one's gonna look at like a weird outfit and be like I'm so weird off bad. Yeah. We all have moments of this too. Like I see people um out in the world like having what I want and I'm like, oh I kinda don't like them. And then I sort of reflect on myself and I'm like, why well, is the reason that I don't like them? It's because I want what they have. Exactly, exactly. And so I'm like, calm down, Alyssa. You will get there. Just relax and be happy for them and good energy is always better. Yeah. It's like it's like that very common trope in like teen media where it's like everybody hates this one girl because she has the perfect boyfriend or she's she has, special. She's yeah, she's got like the big house or she's whatever. She's secretly a fairy. Yeah. <laughs> but nobody actually dislikes her because of yeah. her personality. It's because of what she has. Mm -hmm. So apply that to you. If people are talking smack about you, they don't like you, they don't jive with you. Mm -hmm. You just have to like imagine that they are jealous of yeah. your ability to it's express It's something yourself. within them that is causing them to say this, not something about you. The true reason that I'm probably so confident is that I love performing. Yeah. And I feel like that has always been a space for me to really express myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that other people can apply that by, yeah, maybe you have to go to work and it's a job you don't like, but also take time to um, pursue your passions. It doesn't have to be a career. Like, if you love, like, doing crafts, make sure you, like, have a craft table and, like, give yourself room to foster the things that you love to do in addition to the things that you need to do in your life because mm -hmm. that will build confidence in you because you can create something that you really like. Yeah, I think also going hand in hand with that, like of taking care of yourself, right, and, like, offering yourself the opportunity to have fun and grow is also, like, being gentle with yourself yes. on days when you don't feel as confident. Yes. You don't want to like take one step forward and then take two steps back because you're like, oh, I should be more confident than this or oh, I wish I was more confident. Like don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah. Even we have days where we're like, I'm literally not last week we canceled filming because I, I wasn't feeling good about myself. It literally, and it just, it passes. And it passes. And guess what? I'm about to start my period. So <laughs> what? That's, that's, <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. It just, you have to like, just be gentle with yourself. Yeah. And I feel like if you're like feeling bad about yourself, don't even, I don't even think you have to push yourself to feel good, but yeah. get to a neutral space so that when it passes, you can enter back into your positive self. Like, yeah. Like Alyssa is looking gorgeous every single day. She's feeling better, I presume, because we're filming right now. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling cute. And you are Wearing cute. a new set that I got from an estate sale. Feeling good. I know, it looks did, so cute. Did roller, so my hair's voluminous. Um, I'm feeling good today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just, just like, yeah. know that it, it allow pass. yourself to feel your feelings. Yeah. That's part of being confident. Being confident in every emotion you have. <laughs> Even if you don't want to, like, give time to it. Sometimes you do have to give time yeah. to yourself. I, whenever something bad happens to me, or if I'm just like having a really bad day for no reason, I give myself one day mm -hmm. to be sad. Yeah. Obviously this doesn't count for like tragedies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be another video, but. Yeah. <laughs> and then as for like confidence and like your sexuality and what you want, I think you have to grow your like trust in yourself mm -hmm. of like, no, this is who I am. This mm -hmm. is what I want. And it's also okay to not know exactly who you are, not know exactly what you want, yes. but be confident in the fact that you will figure it out one day. It's true. I think also like coming into my own and my sexuality really helped me with my confidence and my appearance because I think so often as women, we feel, <laughs> we feel tethered to look a certain way yeah. based on the beauty standard, which is through the lens of the patriarchy, whatever, you know this, I know this. Um, but 
I like I feel like Lauren thinks I look my cutest when I'm wearing like my craziest outfits and also it's like it's not all about like showing skin either which like I love to do and you can do but it's just like different sexualities look at desirability in such a different way mm -hmm. and while you shouldn't um tie like your confidence in yourself to others desiring you. I think I feel more of a freedom to be myself and dress the way that I want because I know that the ladies love a cute fit. They do. And I think this is especially like useful if maybe you're a girl, you're a little non-binary person watching this video and you don't necessarily want to dress traditionally femininely. Yes. I feel like that can really tie into like accepting yourself and trusting your sexuality, your mm -hmm. gender identity, mm -hmm. your gender expression, mm -hmm. and then allowing yourself to dress how you want. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people, like you said, you're released from the idea of having to appeal to the male gaze once you start to embrace your queerness and become confident in mm -hmm. how you want to look. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's an extreme confidence that comes from decentering men in your life even if you're in love with a man very much like still like center only yourself center yourself in your life you're the star of your show you are the center of your world yes there are others there are people that you love there's your family there's your friends there's your lovers but you you're the star baby all the other characters can die off and your life still continues. Mm -hmm. If And then if you die, then the show's over. Yeah, the show cannot happen without you. Yeah, Lauren and I always talk, I mean not always, but we, we talk about like if we ever were to break up someday, horrible, depressing, awful, we would keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got ourselves. I think that, yeah, that's another piece of confidence is like, knowing that you yourself will be able to keep yourself afloat regardless of what happens. Yeah. And yeah, we do talk about that and it is obviously devastating, but I think it And makes, I don't think it will happen. No, I don't think so either. Knock on wood. <laughs> but I think that our confidence in ourselves helps the relationship because we're not yes. as worried about if we break up. I think a huge thing and obviously like you're going to have friends who are less confident, but if you can, surrounding yourself with people who are confident, yeah. that will bolster your confidence by like a thousand. Yes, and then you can be an inspiration to other people to be confident as well. Yes, I think like part of why we work so well is that we are so secure in ourselves. And then also like our friends are very secure in who they are. Yeah. Um, which I think is great. Obviously everybody has their off days, but you can't like, you can't give somebody else confidence. You can only give yourself confidence. Mm -hmm. And also if this, this is, I feel like this is a little, a little tidbit trick is if you ever have any endeavors in your life that you are scared about, just imagine or even view it. There are so many men that do it. Yes. <laughs> and if a man can do it, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it, baby. Sometimes like when I was like first starting on my content creation journey, I'd be like, and it doesn't even have to be men. Like, bozos are out here doing yeah. this. I remember being, being like, clowns. I wish I could be a content creator full time. Mm -hmm. Like I wish this could be my job. That, that would be a dream. And then I would look and see people and I'd be like, I could. Like, yeah. like not to dog on them, no, but like, no, but I you could do aren't that. until you start. They started in a place. Yes. That's exactly where you were. Another huge thing is that like above all else, listen to yourself because you are going to be your biggest cheerleader. Like, yeah, like maybe your mom will be like your second biggest cheerleader <laughs> or like your best friend or whoever. But, um, if people tell you, you can't do something, usually you can do it. They don't know you that well. Yeah. Like. I feel like the people in my life who have rejected me, it's been like strangers. So like yeah. people who barely know me. And then like a lot of times if I work at it and I get to know these people, they're like, oh, you're great. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of time when we're facing rejection, it's not like by people close to us. People who know your capabilities. Yeah, I mean, that's like from like a career or like, I mean, obviously like we've, we're rejected by lovers, like whatever. Yeah. But, and then I'd say, I guess, what, what would you say is the difference between confidence and like cockiness? Um, I think like, when does confidence become too, not, not a positive, but a negative yeah, yeah, yeah. rather. 
one of the biggest parts of confidence is trying not to compare yourself to others. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when you're cocky, you're actively comparing yourself to others and thinking that you're better. Yeah. Confidence isn't, I can do it, nobody else can do it. Confidence is just, I can do it and I wish everybody else the best. Yeah, that's actually, and you know what? I did recently just say, if you wanna do something, compare yourself to others. But I think the difference is keeping that inside. Well, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna like comment on somebody's thing like, I could do this. Well, no, like, no, I think, uh, yes, uh, there's always gonna be comparison. I just don't mean like negative comparison. Compare yourself to others in a human way. Like be like, oh, they're doing it. Why can't I do it? Yes. You're not saying they yes. can't do it. Exactly. You're saying, I could do that too. Yeah, you're not saying they shouldn't be able to do that. You should be saying they're doing I it. Do I could do it. Too. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what you were saying. You weren't you weren't trash talking anything. Yeah, no, no. It's like more of motivation for yourself rather than a takedown of others. Yeah, I think it gets murky when you are thinking you're you're better than people. Yes. Yeah. Which, Which you're not. No. Yeah, I think you're right. I think a big part of confidence and like self security is being like, it doesn't really matter what other people can do. I'm gonna bring my best me to the table. Exactly. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter how other people look. I'm slaying. It doesn't matter how other people do it. I slayed. Like at the end of the day, <laughs> it can be a hard journey to get to a place where you feel very confident, yeah. but I believe in you. And also well, it truly is one foot in front of the other, building your confidence. You're not just one day gonna wake up and be the most confident person in the world. It's a journey, yeah. right? And sometimes you're gonna have setbacks, but as long as you keep pushing forward, you're gonna get there. Yeah. You're, it's not an if. It's, a, it's when. a when. You'll do it. I know it. Yeah. Just do the thing in this video that seems the easiest for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then go we, from there. We hit a lot of pillars yeah. as well. Do the thing that seems the most realistic for you. I mean, be realistic with yourself. I mean, you know what else you should do? What? Subscribe. <laughs> uh-huh. And like this video. And make sure you comment. And ding that bell for post notifications because we're posting three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And check out our social. Bye, bug. Bye, bug. Bye, bugs. I'm confident that was a great video. Me too.